Good morning to you. Happy Sunday, fun day. It is Sunday, May 24th. My name is Coach Ryan. I'll be leading you through today's at home OTF workout. The focus will be lower body today. So if you were with me yesterday, we hit the upper body. Now it's time to hit those legs. What you'll need for today's workout you will need a mat and towel, water bottle, and you will need two medium objects or weights. By medium, somewhere in that 8 to 10, 8 to 12 pound range, if you're thinking about dumbbells as well. Maybe you want to go a little bit heavier with the legs, maybe that 12 to 15 pounds up range, okay? But two medium weights, and always positive attitude, positive energy. That's always what you need here when you're live with Coach Ryan. Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, fun day. If you're viewing this later in the day, YouTube, Facebook, all right, we'll get started with the dynamic warm up around the 445-ish mark, okay? So, good morning to you, if you're live. Couple quick announcements, team, okay, before we get started. Okay, All Out Mayhem begins on Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday begins All Out Mayhem the goal and challenge is something between four and six of the workouts. So you got six workouts, you're trying to do at least four for All Out Mayhem. We're gonna kick up that intensity, so get ready. The All Out Mayhem begins this coming Tuesday. For tomorrow's workout, Memorial Day, I will not be live for tomorrow's workout. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna to film tomorrow's workout and then have it up and posted on our YouTube channel in the morning. So tomorrow's workout will be posted directly to our YouTube channel, probably at around 5 a.m. or so. That's probably when I schedule it to post. Okay, so tomorrow's workout will be recorded. It won't be live. It will be up on our YouTube channel tomorrow morning, probably at 5 a.m. for Memorial Day. Okay, so it won't be live tomorrow, but it will be posted on our YouTube channel, and I will post the link on the Facebook page. So happy Sunday, fun day. Good morning to you if you're joining me live. Again, what you'll need for today's workout, focus today will be the lower body. We're going to hit those legs, back towel, and you'll also need two medium objects or weights. Got a lot of leg exercises coming at you today. You may want to switch out some medium objects for some heavier objects as we go along, but you'll need at least some medium objects somewhere in that 8 to 10, 8 to 12 pound range. Here we go, get pumped up, get excited. As always, I'm always excited, real engaged in these workouts for your team. Okay, we're getting close to getting that studio opening. Okay, once we know something, we'll get it to you. Meantime, we're going to keep on grinding the team. Like I said, a lot of excitement coming this week. All Out Mayhem starts on Tuesday. I looked at the workouts for All Out Mayhem. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> All Out Mayhem. <laughs> Cannot wait. <laughs> but I digress. We're going to focus on the work today. Okay? We'll get started in about a minute or so, team. Oh. Hopefully, you all have a good weekend. Cloudy outside right now, but it's looking like it should be getting sunny later in the day. So, hopefully, you all enjoying this holiday weekend. Like I said before, tomorrow's workout, and I'll say it again, tomorrow's workout will not be live. It won't be a live workout tomorrow. However, there will be a recorded version of tomorrow's workout that will post directly to our YouTube channel, probably around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, and I'll send out the link on our Facebook page as well when it posts tomorrow. All right, so those of you who want to get after it on Memorial Day, all right, we're still going to have that video. We're still going to have that workout for you, team. Go. Oh. Leg day. Leg day today. I always, leg day is my favorite day. So I'm always geared up. I'm always really excited about leg day. Hope you are, too. <laughs> All right, team. I got Nuno on my watch, so we'll go ahead and get started. 
Good afternoon to your team again. It's Sunday, fun day, May 24th. I'm Coach Ryan. I'll be leading you for today's at home OTF workout focus today. Lower body. If you hit the legs, I'll be the upper body yesterday. We're going to hit the legs today. You have three working blocks today, and as always, a dynamic warm up to start and a flexibility block to end. Our dynamic warm up, we have three movements that we're going to do for one minute each for two rounds. And I'll go ahead and demo real quick. We're going to start with a hinge T spine rotation. So start in set position, shoulders down and back, navel in toward the spine, hips and glutes tight, hinge forward at the waist, keep your back flat, and then your arms are straight, hands directly under the shoulders, and then we're going to take one arm, rotate up and up the shoulders, and then we're going to alternate coming back to center and resetting each rep. Your next movement, five point squats. So you're going to start out in that same set position. We're going to have five points here. We're going to hinge forward at the waist and reach toward the heels for one. Squat down, weight back in the heels for two. Lift one arm up, three. Other arm up, four. And rise for five. So again, you're hinging one, two, three, four, five. All right. Your final movement, alternating reverse lunges. Starting at the same set position. Your feet are like railroad tracks. We're going to step backwards. Shoulders over hips, knees over ankles. As an option, reduce the range of motion on the lunges. Like I said, we have three round, uh, two rounds, okay? totally for six minutes, one minute apiece on both movements. We're going to get started with that hip hinge, T-spine rotation. Let's hit team in three, two, and one. So we'll start set, hinge forward, open up nice and control, reset, and back. Keep your back flat on knees, okay, kind of like a deadlift, hinging at the waist. That hinge position, that hinging motion is going to be what that deadlift is all about, team, which you'll see in the workout. We got 30. So again, back flat on that hinge, weight back with your heels, butt out slightly, should have pull back. We got 15. All right, five point squats in three, two, one. So hinge forward toward the heels for one. Squat down, lean back the heels, go to your range of motion, two. One arm about three, other arm about four, and rise. Open up here at the top. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. If you go at your own pace here, you go to your range of motion. So if you need to decrease the range of motion a little bit on the squat, do it. If you have any orthopedic issues, you can just take the arm straight out in front of you rather than overhead. We're halfway. Weight back. When you squat team, weight back in the heels, you should be able to wiggle your toes at the bottom of a squat. 15 seconds. Yes. Get pumped up. Get excited. Start to connect to those leg muscles. Three, two, alternating reverse lunges. So set position. Feet are railroad tracks. Keep your feet on those railroad tracks, team. Remember option. Reduce the range of motion. But again, shoulders over hips, knees over ankles on the lunge. Chest up, chest proud. Hopefully you're feeling good. Halfway, I'm feeling good. Okay, so hopefully I can spread some energy to you today. I feel great about leg day. Come on. Okay, these lunges, team. We're getting those leg muscles primed and ready. Get blood flow to them. Get them warm up. Like I said, we got a lower body focus for today. All right, back to the hinge, T-spine rotation. Three, two, one. So again, focus on that hinge, back flat, shoulder blades pull back, arms out, and then open up. Hands, 
arms directly under the shoulders. Put the arms straight. You're not rushing here. Take your time, maybe you want to hold a little bit at the top, halfway to feel that stretch. Open up those shoulders a little bit. Shoulders might be a little sore from yesterday, if you were here with me yesterday. Come on team, you got 15. Look directly at the floor, and the next stays neutral. Five point squats in three, two, one. All right, here we go, remember. Reach, one, two, three, four, five. You go at your pace here. We're open it up. Four, chest swell, shoulders. Full body move with a leg emphasis. As I reach like a deadlift, I'm getting my body ready for the deadlift today. So I'm practicing that hinge. Back laterally, pull back as I reach down. All right, three, two, lunges. All in reverse lunges. One more time. We'll go ahead and get started. Foot block number one. Start to get ready. Get your mind right. Anything that you got going on, stress, whatever have you. Okay, hopefully you're having a good weekend. But if you got something going on, okay, this is the time. Try to clear that out of your mind. 30 more seconds. Try to clear that out, team. This is your time to get away from it a little bit. This is your time to improve your body, improve your fitness level. Also time to get some endorphins going, to get some feel good chemicals going in your body. So whatever you got going on, if you got something going on, let's try to let it go for the next 45 to 55 minutes. Three, two, time. All right, time to get to work. All right, we got three working blocks. Like I said, the focus today will be lower body. We're gonna start with one of my favorite ways to kick off a workout, a Tabata. So we're gonna have two exercises, agility moves. Agility will be the focus, lower body focus. Four rounds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. That 20 seconds should be a push, uncomfortable type of effort. Push the all out type of effort, trying to find that orange zone in those 20 seconds. Your first agility move is the shuffle. So pretend that you have an imaginary box, right? on your floor, mat, or whatever, then we're gonna take two steps in that box and then one step out of the box. So it's gonna be a three count for one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Option, reduce the range of motion. But try to move those arms, opposite arm goes up with the opposite knee, okay? Your second movement is the foot exchange. So again, pretend you got that imaginary box on your floor, one foot is in the box, one foot is out of the box, and we're just going to switch it up, okay? Option, slow it down a little bit, okay? Once you get the rhythm of it, you can start to take up that tempo. And for four rounds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, each 20 second effort should be a push type of uncomfortable effort. I hope you're ready to rock and roll because I am a team. Let's get uncomfortable. We're gonna start with 20 seconds of the shuffle in three, two, and one. Let's roll. One, two, three. So I'm not moving very far. I'm trying to stay in that imaginary box. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and time. 10 seconds rest. Stay up tall. Deep breaths. Here we go. Foot exchange coming up in three, two, and one. So remember, you got that imaginary box that's out in front of you. And you're just replacing one foot in, one foot out, 
and speeding it up. Three, two, time. All right, round one done. All right, one round down, three more to go. Back to the shuffle. Three, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, three. Again, notice I'm not shuffling very far laterally. I got that imaginary box that I'm trying to take two steps in. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And time. 10 seconds. Stay up. Couple deep breaths. Here we go. Back to the push change in three, two, one. Again, if you need to, slow it down a little bit as an option. Once you get that pattern and that rhythm, you can speed it up. Come on. Three, two, time. Here we go. Halfway there. I love starting to work out off the Tabata team. Back to uncomfortable. Three, two, the shuffle. One, two, three. Get those arms moving. The more your body that moves, the higher the demand, the more calories you burn, and you get those heart rates up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and time. Beautiful team. Come on. Love it. Let's get to our team. Back to that foot exchange in three, two, one. So again, you got that box, that imaginary box. Just replace those feet. Come on. Breathe through it. We're uncomfortable, trying to find that orange zone. But breathe, come on. In three, two, time. All right, here we go, come on. Let's stick with it. Last round, best round. You got this team. Shuffle in three, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, three. Stay tall, remember, move those arms. Come on. Yes, 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 and time. Beautiful. That's over and done with. One more time. Back to that foot exchange team. Here we go. Last round. Three, two, one. Light up your feet. Stay on your toes. Again, this is another one. You get the opposite arm moving. Come on. In three, two, time, ho. Oh. Love it. Great way to kick off a workout with a Tabata. Getting uncomfortable, get those heart rates up. This one, high five. Awesome job, team. Okay? Now, next block of work, eight minutes. We're going to have four exercises focusing on the lower body. Every exercise is timed for one minute. There's no transition in between movements. One movement each exercise, go right to the next movement. We're gonna do this for two rounds. We'll start with the hip bridge with tempo. Lay down on your back, legs bent at 90 degrees, heels on the floor. We're gonna drive the hips and glutes up, drive the heels. One, two, three, slow counts down. As a challenge, you can drape one of those weights across your hips as a challenge. Next exercise, squat to pulse. So start in the set position. Shoulders down and back, they lift toward the spine, hips and glutes tight. Weight back in the heels as you squat. Go down to the bottom, halfway up, back down, up. So after that squat, pulse at the bottom, and up as an option, reduce the range of motion. Next movement, iso squat, lateral walk. So just like the meat man, weight back in the heels, starting from set, hold the bottom of the squat. Take three small steps to one side, three small steps back. Option, come out of that squat slightly, but your goal, you have a minivan on, so keep that tension in on the minivan, don't let your knees cave in, and make sure your feet stay at least in with the park, so your feet don't come all the way together. Finally, full thrusters, take those two medium objects, or weights, start to set. Objects above your shoulders, palms face each other, weight back to the heels on the squat. Use the power from the legs to help drive the objects through the ceiling. 
option, reduce the range of motion of the squat. If you have any orthopedic issues with the shoulders, after the squat, take one of those objects at front press. Okay? Two rounds, one minute each, totaling an eight minute block. Let's get set scene for the hip bridge with tempo. Again, it's one count up, three counts down. So try to follow my pace. And again, the challenge, break the object across your hips. Three, two, one. Let's go up. One, two, three. Try to stay with me. Up. One, two, three. Tempo pace. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. Squeeze the glutes and hamstrings. One, two, three. At the top. Up. Squeeze. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. There we go. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. One more. Up. One, two, three. Let's stand it up. Squat the pulse. All right, we're going right into it. So way back in the heels, pulse to the bottom, and up. Squat down, pulse to the bottom, and up. We're here for a minute. That's it. Keep your weight back in the heels. Shoulders out the back when you squat. Shoulders over hips, knees over ankles. You'll be able to wiggle your toes in a squat. There we go. Remember, add that pulse at the bottom, then up. Challenge if you want to have a weight goblet style as you work. That's a challenge. Yeah, come on. Less than 15. You got it, team. Iso squat lateral walk in three, two, and one. Set position, hold the bottom of the squat. Three small steps to one side, three steps back. Okay, so just like the minivan, they pretend they've got the minivan on. Keep outward tension on that minivan. Don't let your knees cave in. Here we go. Notice you're not going very far. Look at how I stay in the camera, stay in the shot. I'm not going very far in my steps. My focus is to stay low in the squat and keep my feet at least hip width apart. Come on, fight the burn 15. Yeah, feel it, feel it, come on. Full thruster, three, two, one. Let's grab those objects, full thruster. Now if you were here yesterday, difference between this and yesterday, it's a full squat, not a half squat. But your goal is the same. You're set at an uncomfortable pace that you can maintain for the minute. Use the leg power from the squat. Like the rower, power comes from your legs, just like the rower here. Two days in a row of thrusters. They're trying to toughen us up, but we accept the challenge. Two days in a row of thrusters. Don't complain about it. Just take it as a challenge and accept it. 15, because those challenges, in workouts and in life, they make you better. And three, two, back to the hip bridge with tempo. Okay, you're gonna go right into it. Try to stay with me. One count up. Sneeze. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. Sneeze and loose the hamstrings. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, 
three, we're more than halfway, up. One, two, three, up, driving the heels. One, two, three, up, just like a squat. One, two, three, you should be able to look at your toes. Up, one, two, three, up. One, two, three, come on, up. One, two, three, one more, up. One, two, and three. All right, let's stand it up. Okay, squat, so pulse. So weight back the heels, pulse at the bottom, and up. Remember, the challenge is to have one of those objects at goblet style. That's the challenge, okay? This isn't required, but that's the challenge. If you want a little bit more for those legs, you know Coach Ryan does. Come on, way back in the heels, pulse at the bottom. See, I'm wiggling my toes at the bottom. That's how you know my weight is back in my heel. So sink your butt back, butt back, chest tall. Try not to hinge with your upper body as you squat. Stay tall, but bring your butt back. 15 seconds. Yes. Outward tension on the pretend mini man. Yep. In three, two, one. Iso squat, lateral wall. So again, hold the bottom, stay low. One, two, three small steps. One, two, three, three back. So again, your focus here. Stay low. Stay low in that squat. Keep your feet at least hip width apart. So feet don't come all the way together. Come on. And don't let those knees cave in. Pretend that you got that baby man on. Halfway, 30 seconds. Fight the burn. I know you're burning. Come on. But this is what we came to do. And smile through it. Come on, smile team. Smile through that burn. I see you. Smile through it. Less than 15. Oh, yeah. In three, two, thrusters, full thrusters. Last minute. Just grab those weights. Come on. Use the legs. So power comes from the leg drive. Yep. I know you're burning, team. Shoulders might be sore if you did yesterday's workout. That should give you more incentive to use the legs. Use the legs to drive the weights or objects up. Halfway, focus less on your shoulders. Try to shift your mind to the legs, lower body power. So push through the floor, explode up. You got 15. Yep, boom. Almost there. In three, two, time. You made it, team. Set the waist down. Stay tall. Keep pressing the nose. Out of the mouth. Swipe off that liquid also. Grab a drink if you need it. Awesome work, team. Okay? As you catch your breath, I'm going to demo your third block, your third and final block. This block will be 10 minutes. We'll have four exercises. They will be timed. Round one, one minute each. Round two, 45 seconds each. Round three, 30 seconds each. Once we finish a full round, we'll have 30 seconds of rest. We start alternating lateral lunges. So start in set position, shoulders back, table in, hips and glutes tight. We're gonna lunge toward one side, the side you lunge away from, that leg is straight. Keep your toes pointing forward, shoot the hips straight back, turn up the rotate with your chest and shoulders, and we alternate as an option Reduce the range of motion on the lunge. Goblet squat, take one of those objects. If you accepted the challenge from the last block, same deal. You're just not pulsing at the bottom. Weight back in the heels. Option, light an object, or reduce the range of motion. Deadlifts, take both of your objects. Start set position with the objects in front of your legs. Shoulders back, navel in, hips and glutes tight. Hands forward at the waist, keep your back flat. Keep the objects close to your legs as you lower toward your feet your glutes and hamstrings and bring yourself back up. Option, 
and reduce the range of motion. Finally, calf raise with support. So I said the post, you may need a chair, okay? If you don't have a chair, find something that you can support yourself on and just drive up on your toes, bring those heels up all the way as high as you can and back down. If you don't have something to balance on, that's okay. Your range of motion might be limited, but if you don't have something to balance on, that's okay. You can do it without the support, okay? Three rounds, remember first round, one minute, second round, 45 seconds, third round, 30 seconds, each move, okay? Let's get set, team. We're gonna start with the alternating lateral lunges. Let's get to work for one minute in three, two, and one, lateral lunges. So start the set, the side you lunge away from, that leg is straight. Reset the center, keep your toes pointing forward, shoot your butt, hip straight back, just like a squat. Maybe if you need to reduce the range of motion, do it. Here we go, team. Try not to rotate chest and shoulders with the lunges. Another challenge, if you want to hold those objects in your hands or weights, as another challenge here, you can. Not required, but that's the challenge. We got 15. Here we go, come on. All right, team, let's get set. Goblet squat in three, two, one. Let's grab one of those objects, hold it under the chin, goblet style, let's squat. So we've been working on this squat for the entire workout. Weight back and heels. Notice as I squat, my knees are over my ankles, shoulders over my hips, my chest is tall. Keep that object as close as you can to your body. Object close to your chest. Draw the navel in toward your spine. That will engage your abdominal muscles, your core, and to help protect your low back. In this movement. Come on. Inhale down. Exhale up. You got this. Here we go. Leg day. Best day. Come on. All right, deadlifts in three, two, one. Let's grab the other object. And we start the set. Shoulders back, navel in, hips and glutes tight. Objects close to your legs. Hinging forward. So remember that hinge pattern that we did in the warm up. One out, back flat, shoulder blades pulled back, hinging at the waist. At the bottom, you should feel a good stretch in your glutes and hamstrings. Those muscles are engaged. Use those muscles in the back of your legs to bring yourself back up. We got 30. The squats team focus more so on the quads, the front part of your leg. These deadlifts engage and activate the posterior chin, the back part of your legs. Come on. We got 15 seconds before we go to the calf raise and support. Here we go. Calf raise with support in three, two, Let's go. All right, hang on to something. All right, up on your toes, all the way up, all the way down. Notice I kept, I kept one of my objects just to add a little bit of resistance. This calf raise, squeeze at the top, and back down. There we go. Total leg day today. We're hitting those calves today, two to you. There we go. 30 seconds, and that will complete round one. Exhale up. Up on your toes. Get those heels high as you can off the floor. Yep. 15. There we go. Come on. And in three, two, Time, 30 seconds. All right. That was round one. We got 30 seconds before we start round two. Remember, this next round, it will be 45 seconds of work. 
each exercise. We've got about 15 seconds, let's get ready. We're gonna start with the alternating lateral lunges. Challenge, you can grab those objects or weights and hold them in your hand as you do the lunges. That's what I'm gonna do for these next two rounds. Three, two, and one here. 45 seconds. So remember, you're not required to hold your weights or objects, but if you want that challenge, you can. If you're holding weights or objects, try not to rotate your chest and shoulders. Try to stay square, chest tall and proud, just like you were without the objects. Yes, reset the center. Before switching sides, set next rep. We got 15. Come on. There we go, leg day, come on. Yes, indeed. In three, two, goblet squats. So if you had objects, drop one of them. If you didn't have an object, pick up one of them. Thanks to goblet squat, come on. You're not trying to rush through these. This is resistance training. So we're not trying to get the heart rates up per se. The target is not getting the heart rates up. The target is range of motion, time and attention, working the leg muscles. We got 15. There we go. Inhale down, exhale up. Deadlift in three, two, one. Deadlift, grab both those objects again. Remember, you're hinging, just like that hinge T-spine rotation to warm up. Objects close to your legs, back flat, your legs pull back. When you go down, pretend you got a pencil between your shoulder blades. Don't let your shoulders round. Squeeze that pencil in between your shoulder blades, team. Halfway, butt out. Feel that stretch in the back of the legs to the bottom. Use those muscles to bring you up. Here we go, come on. Nice work, team. Back to the calf raise in three, two. Calf raise with support. So find your chair or something that you can support yourself with. And let's get those calf raises. Again, if you want a little extra, grab one of those objects and hold it as you calf raise. Exhale up. Up on your toes, get those heels all the way up and down. Squeeze those calves to the top and back down. We got 15. Stay tall, stand tall and proud all throughout. Yep, yeah, come on. In three, two, time. Here we go, 30 seconds. That was round two. After this 30 second recovery, round three, 30 seconds of work, and then we'll be done with the working blocks. Oh, look at that. Time flies when you're having fun. We're gonna get ready for the alternate lateral lunges, again, for 30 seconds. If you want that challenge, hold those objects with the lunges, but you don't have to, team. Three, two, one, that's lunge. 30 seconds. So even though the time is shorter, you're still not trying to rush. You're getting quality reps here. Here we go, come on. We got 15. Yeah, yeah, come on, all the way through team, you got this. Goblet squat in three, two, one. Get one of those objects at the chest, hold the object close. Okay, again, draw the navel in toward your spine to engage your abdominal muscles. Holding the object in this position engages your core more, challenges your core more. Your body wants to tip forward. So your goal is to not let your body tip forward as you hold that object when you squat. Deadlift in three, two, one. Let's grab both the objects, let's roll and hinge. Squeeze that pencil between the shoulder blades when you go down. Go down the floor. 
So you're headed next stage neutral, going down. 15 seconds. Boom. You got this team. Final movement. Three, two, calf raise with support. Come on, 30 seconds. There we go. Uh huh? Check in, team. We're almost there. Hang on, 15 seconds. There we go. Up. Up. There we go. In three, two, time. Hello. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that was your workout. Awesome job, team. Well, I should say, that was your leg workout for the day. Now, this is the part in the OTF at home video. If you looked at the video of the workout inside your app, this is where the video goes into the stretch. However, you know Coach Ryan. Coach Ryan likes to throw a little bit of extra, <laughs> a little extra sauce on these American Heart Association workouts. So we're gonna throw a little extra sauce on the workout today. You're welcome. Hold your pause. Hold your pause, please, okay? So here's how it's gonna work. What I'm gonna do, we have two movements, okay? Two movements that I will demo right now. Your first movement in this extra sauce is the walkout to push up. So start standing nice and tall. Your goal is to keep your legs as straight as you can and your feet in the same spot. You're gonna walk out to the high plank position, hands on the shoulders, butt down, perform push-ups, and then walk back, okay? Try to keep your legs straight, keep the same spot when you walk back. As an option for the push-up, you go down to knees for the push-up, okay? I say that option, use the option in this block if you need it for the push-ups. Second movement, jumping jacks. It's your second movement. Option, one, two, three, low impact jumping jack, one leg out at a time, okay? Now, the way it will work, we have a 10 minute challenge to get through 15 rounds. You're gonna start of the rep count of one for the walkout and push up. You're gonna start at 15 jumping jacks. Your reps for the push up will go one through 15. Your reps for the jumping jack will go 15 through one. Okay, so example, round one, I'm gonna walk out, one push up, walk back, and do 15 jumping jacks. Round two, I'm gonna walk out, two push-ups, walk back, and then 14 jumping jacks. Round three, walk out, three push-ups, walk back, 13 jumping jacks. That's the way the pattern will go. Every round, I'm gonna add a push-up at the bottom, and every round, I'm going to take away a jumping jack. So it's 15 rounds. The reps start at one on the push-up, reps start at 15 on the jumping jack. When it's all said and done, team, if we get through all the rounds in 10 minutes, it's 120 push-ups and 120 jumping jacks, all in all. Are you up for the challenge? I know Coach Ryan is, okay? So, I'm gonna start the clock for 10 minutes in a second. Now, you go at your own pace here, okay? As I go along, I'm gonna call out my rep counts, okay? so you all can get the idea of how it goes, okay? So again, every round I increase on the push-ups by one, every round I decrease the jumping jacks by one, okay? So round one is gonna start, walk out one push-up, walk back, and then 15 jumping jacks. Remember, we got, 50, we got 10 minutes to try to get through these 15 rounds. Let's get set, team, in three, two, and one. So I'm gonna walk out, round one, one push-up, Walk back, and I'm going to do 15 jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Round two, I'm going to walk out, two push ups, walk back, and then 14 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, round three. 
I'm going to walk up. Three push ups. Walk back, keep those legs straight. And then 13 jumping jacks. Two, three. Remember, you go at your own pace here. I'm just calling out my reps and rounds. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Next round for me, I will walk up. Four push ups. Two, three, four. Walk it back. Now I'm doing 12 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Next round for me, I'm gonna walk out. Five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Walk it back. Remember, take an option to the knees for push-up if you need it. Then I'm gonna do 11 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Option for the jumping jacks. Six, one leg out. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Next round for me, I'm gonna walk out. Six push-ups. One, two, three, four, Five, six, then I'm walking back. Ten jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next round for coach. I'm going for seven push ups. Walk it out. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Walk it back. Remember, you go at your pace here. Okay? Now I'm going nine. One, jumping jacks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next round, when you get to the round of eight, when you get to the round of eight, it's eight push ups and eight jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk it back. The round of eight is eight and eight. Eight jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. All right. Next round for coach. I'm walking out. Nine push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Walk it back. Now, as those push ups increase, take an option if you need it. Now I'm going seven jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take recovery as you need it. As the push ups increase, all right, you're going to get tougher. I'm on 10 push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm walking back. Those push-ups are getting tough. Even for me, team. Six jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got plenty of time. We're three and a half minutes in. Next round for coach. I'm doing 11 push-ups. They're gonna start to get tough. Okay, here we go. I'm doing 11. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna walk back. Now I'm doing five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. All right. These next rounds are gonna get tough for coach. Those later rounds. All right. I got twelve push-ups after the walkout, and then four jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Walk it back. There we go. And I got four jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna shake it out a little bit. Those push-ups are getting tough. I know. Use an option if you need it for the push-ups. We got plenty of time here. My next round is 13 push-ups and three jumping jacks. Here I go. Walk it out. Come on, I'm with you. We're in this together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There I got three more. One, two, three. Now we'll walk back. Three jumping jacks. One, two, three. All right. Now I got two more rounds. 14 and 15. I'm going to shake it out a little bit. Because those push-ups are getting tough for a coach. All right? So again, you can slap for the knees if you need to for a push-up. All right? Here I go. 14 and 2. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh. Here we go. I'm going to hit four more for me. 
four, three, two, and one. Get up, walk your back. Uh, and then two, one, two. All right. Again, those push-ups are getting hard. Even I have to take a second that last round. I got one more round. Okay, we got 10 minutes to complete this. We got a little less than four minutes remaining, okay? You got this, team. Shake it out if you need to. Stretch it out if you need to, okay? It's tough, but you're tougher, team. You got this. All right, I'm gonna get ready for my last round. Here we go, I like to count down. Five. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Uh, I got four more. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Yep, walk it back. And then one push up, probably one jumper jack for me. All right? Now, we got three minutes on the clock. Okay? I want you to get as far as you can. Get as far as you can. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not leaving you. I'm done with my ladder. I'm not going to leave you. I'm pulling out my jump rope, and I'm going to jump rope for the rest of the time, okay? So we start together, we end together. So if you're done, if you get done, there's still time, you know, you do some shuffles, some jumping jacks, some light high knees, your cardio options. Maybe you want to hold a plank, all right? I'm not leaving anybody behind, okay? Even though I'm done with the challenge, you still got work to do on the clock. Now again, use an option for the push-up. Take it down to the knees. Those reps should be quality reps. We got two minutes. So no half reps. Take it to the knees. If you need to for a push-up, you'll get more out of the movement. Like I said, I'm done, and I'm here with you till the end. Come on. That's it, team. Let's work. Come on, we start as a team, we end as a team. 90 seconds. I want you to get as far as you can. So even if you don't finish the whole ladder, don't worry. You get as far as you can. Come on team, you got this. All right. Check it in, we got one more minute of work. One more minute. If you're getting close, can you get to the finish line? If you're at that finish line, let's get something. Let's get some movement. Let's get some work. So the final, 45 seconds, come on. Yep, come on. Check in team, we got 30. You got it, you got it, come on. Amazing job to me. So catch your breath. 
Grab a drink if you need it. Stay tall. Into the nose. Out of the mouth. Now, we're going to stretch it on out. Again, if you made it through it all, that was 120 push-ups and 120 jumping jacks. If you made it through all 15 rounds. Let's start our team. We're going to start out in the cobra stretch. Okay? Hands on the shoulders, legs extended. Let's extend the low back. Squeeze the glutes and hamstrings to this stretch here to protect your low back. We're going to do the cobra and child's pose twice. Breathe. There we go. In three, two, let's child's pose the back. Butt back toward your heels, arms straight out in front of you. Keep those deep breaths going. Awesome work, team. Awesome work. All right, we're going to do those one more time. We're going to go back to the cobra in three, two, back to the cobra. Let's hold here for 20. Remember, team, tomorrow's workout. Tomorrow's workout will be a greatest hits workout. It will not be live tomorrow. Okay, I have the workout filmed. I'm going to release it tomorrow morning, probably at like 5 a.m. And let's child close it back. So that way you can get it done whenever you want to on Memorial Day. But tomorrow's workout will not be live. You won't be on Facebook Live. The workout tomorrow will go directly to the YouTube channel, probably at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Three, two, and one. Now, we're going to do an angled child's pose. So, start in child's pose position, and then I want you to walk your arms out to one side. Let's hold here for 20 seconds. You should get a stretch in the lats and the obliques of the side you're stretching away from. So. In three, two, one, let's walk back to center on the child's pose, and then walk it toward the opposite side of the arms. Let's hold here for 20 seconds. Breathe, keep those deep breaths going. And three, two, and one. Let's build your butt. See the toe reach. Let's stay tall, legs extended in front of you. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, reach toward the toes. You go to your range of motion here. We'll hold here 20 seconds. And relax the head and neck. Do some neck rolls here. You should feel this stretch right in the hamstrings, the back of the legs. Targeted those legs a lot today. In three, two, one, seated hurler. One leg straight, the other leg bent, foot of the bent leg, press against the inside of the thigh, the straight leg, and then reach toward the toes of the straight leg. Let's hold here for 20. And again, another hamstring stretch the straight leg, and then getting the outer hip and loop of that bent leg. stretches. As you exhale, try to see if you can get a little bit deeper. Three, two, time. Let's switch sides. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, reach forth those toes. And every exhale, see if you can get a little bit deeper, but you're not going to pain. And you go to your range of motion here. And three, two, time, shake it out, and you are done -zo. Amazing job, team. Awesome job. Happy Sunday, fun day to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll respond to you. This workout will be on the YouTube channel within the next hour. Again, another public service announcement. Tomorrow, Memorial Day, the workout will not be live, so we won't be on Facebook Live tomorrow but the workout is recorded and it will post directly to the YouTube channel tomorrow morning, probably at 5 a.m. And then I'll make a Facebook post 
noting that. But so again, tomorrow's workout will be on the YouTube channel, not Facebook Live. Have a safe holiday weekend, team. Remember, stay in school, don't do drugs, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Drive sober, get pulled over, stay alive, don't text and drive, click their ticket, exit detection, only you. There have been wildfires. Wakanda forever. Be a thinker, not a stinker, and don't get arrested. And may the force be with you and live long and prosper. Now may the odds be forever in your favor. Make like a tree, leave, get out of here. And if you have scissors, don't run with them. That's not safe. Here's your fist pump. Here's your high fives. But please stay six feet away from me. And please, please, please wash your hands and don't drink Clorox. Get out of here, crazy kid.